What is going on guys? My name is Officer O'Leary and welcome to a little amusement park called Bowcraft Playland. And this is located off, I think it's called Route 22 and it's in Scotch Plains, New Jersey. And this is possibly one of the smallest amusement parks I've ever seen. Like this place is really tiny, right? Like, I don't know, they have a pretty big coaster in the back of the park. It's called Crossbow and then there's this smaller coaster right here. I think it's an ENF Miller. But look at how many cars are here guys, literally. Like we have the box truck because I'm working right now. And we parked like way in the back. But look at these cars right here. Like there's literally like five cars in the whole parking lot. It's freaking crazy. They have a paratroopers right there. It's pretty awesome. You guys can see the first drop on crossbow way in the background. But yeah, we we also picked like the freaking hottest day like ever to come. It's like 90, 99 degrees out, I think, something like that. But it definitely feels hotter. Uh, it's it's crazy hot out. All right, we're at the main entrance. I just got my wristband. It's actually not too expensive. It's only like $30 for a wristband, so that's not terrible. And the tickets are not terribly priced either. You guys can see the prices there in the window for like a regular ticket. It's $125. I don't know exactly how expensive like the rides are, like how many tickets it is per ride. But um, I don't know. We're gonna get in the park and ride some stuff. I think we're gonna hit crossbow first. Um, my friend Dave here, he doesn't get a wristband, but we're, he's just gonna hang out with me at the park today since we're technically at work. No, I don't want to win you a rubber duck. How much is it? A dollar? A dollar for a rubber duck? That's kind of a rip off. I don't know. This park's been having a lot of financial issues over the last few years. Uh, it was rumored to close in like 2016, but apparently reopened and uh, it's 2018 now. So, I mean, it's still open. <laughs> not a ton of people here, but also it's like extremely hot out. So I don't blame people for not wanting to come in. I'm probably gonna ride a bunch of stuff here though since I bought the wristband and get my money's worth. Over here you guys can see refreshment stand. Funnel cakes, it's the same on top. Uncle Sam's Pizza Palace. Pizza isn't terribly priced, but it's uh, $3.25 for a slice. I mean that's way better than like Six Flags. Six Flags it's like $10 for a freaking slice and like a little plate of fries. So that's not bad at all. I get on that train too, it looks like a fun ride. Got all types of rides here. I don't know what the policy is here about on-ride filming, but um, yeah, we're gonna just test it out, see what we can do. I don't know about uh, crossbow. I'm gonna try to get my phone out and I get a nice uh, POV for you guys. Because it's so crazy hot out, they actually have a sprinkler in the middle of one of the pathways here. Oh crap, I just stepped in a huge puddle. But yeah, isn't this cool? It's like a little oscillating sprinkler. Oh, it's freezing cold. Oh my god, why is that water so freaking cold? There, uh, right back there is crossbow. Look at that thing. It's a pretty nice looking coaster, actually. It's made by Zerir. I've never seen a coaster quite like it before. So I might just like marathon it all day. I don't know. <laughs> We're here for a few hours. Like, we have plenty of time. We can kind of chill out. I mean, I'm going to have a good vlog for you guys. It's a fun slide. Yo, Dave, let's go down that fun slide. <laughs> you know, I bet, like, our butts would just, like, stick to the slide because it's so hot out. Like, I feel like it's so hot. Like, I don't know. I'm, like, sweating really bad, so that would not be a fun slide to do today. Oh. If it had water on it, yeah, that'd be pretty sick. Like, they should put, like, a hose at the top of the slide. <laughs> like, just have it go right down the Like, I don't know. That'd be really cool. I got a Himalaya over here. It's called a Rock and Roll. Yeah, they're fun. I love these rides. You get, like, pushed into the person you're sitting next to. Always be bumping. Always be bumping. This little train ride looks fun, too. We're definitely going to have to ride this. It's really crazy how there are only, like, four cars in the parking lot. <laughs> there are a little bit more cars parked in the front of the park, so, like, it's not totally dead. But, like, there's nobody walking back here on this path. It's dead back here. We're gonna get on Crossbow, I think. I saw it operating before, so I know it's open. Like, there's just nobody around here. It's crazy. Hi, Dave! <laughs> We're the only people on this coaster. It's just me. Oh, dear God, it just stopped. Help! Okay, so far, it stopped once on the lift, and it's pretty sketchy set. Oh my god. I don't know about this, guys. This does not feel very good. I'm a little scared. Dear god. No! Alright, 
2006 this one was built. <laughs> I got a little bit scared there when it stopped on the lift hill. Like, what the hell? That was so weird. Crossbow. Overall, it's a pretty fun ride. I'm not gonna lie, it was it was interesting. It was fun. It's a little bit sketchy though. It looks like it needs some maintenance. <laughs> yeah, this thing needs some work done. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun and everything, but like a little sketchy. A little sketchy. You saw it stop on the lift hill. Yeah. Like it, like it, it didn't just stop. It like made some noises and shit. Like it, I don't know. I mean, like it, the whole fucking ride it just was about to collapse. Like the whole thing was, yeah. No, I mean, it, it's a fun ride overall. Yeah. All right, we're on the sketchiest hill overall ever. This thing is covered. much spinny and spinny <laughs> still going a little bit there we go Whew. I tell you this thing's fun I just got off like the most intense tilt -to whirl I've ever been on <laughs> like literally look at that thing I don't know what makes it so intense but like just it, I don't know dude the cars like just free spin like I, I don't know I, I, I almost blacked out. That was crazy. I always love the tilt -to whirls It's really a nice carnival classic. Like, you can find them at fairs all over the place. And they're just really good family fun. Totally recommend these rides. I mean, obviously, you've probably been on one if you're watching this. And over here, we've got this little helicopter ride, which I'm not going to ride. Cause I really feel like if I ride that helicopter ride, like, the whole thing just might just break underneath me. Like, it looks super sketchy. It looks even worse than the tilt -to whirl like all the rides here, all the rides here, low key, are not in the best shape. <laughs> I mean, they're not horrible or anything. Like you can totally get on these and like still be fine, but I don't know. They just don't look in the best condition, and that's alright. I mean, what do you really expect from a park that's been having a lot of financial issues and stuff? I mean, it's a miracle this place is still even open. So I mean, I'm happy I'm here right now. This is cool. It's really a cool park. It's probably about an hour's drive away from Great Adventure, so it's not terrible. I mean, it's in New Jersey still. It's closer to New York City, though, I think, for sure, than Philadelphia. So, I mean, if you're in the area, definitely stop by and check it out. Obviously, there's no admission fee, so you can kind of just walk in like my buddy Dave did here. Just kind of walked right on in. No admission, so that's always good. But, um, yeah, we're going to find some other rides to do, and uh, I'll probably make this vlog about maybe 45 minutes, an hour long. Um, I try to at least. There's never really any way to tell how long they're gonna be, but I don't know. Let's get on the. I don't know what ride we should get on. I don't want to get on anything else spinny yet. Maybe we should do the train ride. So right across from the Tilt World, they have this little crazy submarine ride, but it's like definitely closed. You guys can see there's a sign or something in the back. Yeah, there's like a sign in like the back seat. It's kind of hard to see, but it's totally in there. I don't understand. Like, no comprende. I don't know, this thing looks pretty sketchy though. I totally wouldn't ride it. Some old school looking Gatorade machines. I don't know, I brought Gatorade in the park. Three dollars? That's a little bit steep. I don't know. I have like my own water bottle, they just didn't care. We just like walked right in with it. Something that's common at like a lot of smaller amusement parks is that they have one ride operator for like two or three different rides. 
So they'll like stand in a section and like wait for people to come over and uh, then they'll just go to whatever ride people want to ride if it's really slow. Because there's no sense in hiring like or having a bunch of people working all the rides if there's not a lot of people here. It makes sense. But um, yeah, that's definitely going on right here. So we're going to get on this like kids dragon coaster over here. I'm not really sure like the make or model or whatever if you're like a coaster enthusiast like me. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to get on this thing. It's like dragon themed. I think it's called the dragon. And then right over here they got the paratroopers. This thing looks pretty cool. I would ride it. I'm gonna ride this, I think. Got the bumper rama over here. Oh, the coaster's gone. There it goes. I don't want to say I'm excited because it looks a little sketchy, but at the same time it looks like fun, so we're going to do it anyway. It's like the paratrooper ride's like really intense. I'm excited for that. I love these rides. Bye Dave. Wish me luck. I'm going on this, the dragon coaster. Alright, we're on the sketchy dragon coaster. much of a dragon coaster as I can handle right now. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Oh. oh boy. Yesterday we were in Manhattan and now we're standing outside a sketchy dragon coaster. It was it was a little scary, not gonna lie. Um, he sent me around like another time after. It was okay. It was, it was good. Definitely more of a kid's coaster, and you can tell it's not a permanent model. I would believe this is a traveling coaster. I don't know. Either way, it's an extra credit I got. <laughs> so I got two credits here today. I got uh, Crossbow and then that. I think we might go back over to Crossbow and uh, ride that in a little bit. I don't know if we're going to do it right now. I'm thinking about riding that train ride. It looks like a lot of fun. I think I hear it going right now. My guess would be right. There's definitely a train. We saw this thing in the parking lot going before. And uh, this is like the second time I've seen it. Pretty cool. We're gonna have to get on this in a little bit. I was, I was actually thinking about getting on it now, but it's going already, so I don't know. Maybe, we'll, maybe I'll do the wave swinger. Wave swinger's fun. 
Green Express. It's like a close and personal. They have the same type of train, I think, Jenkinson. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same one. So, four tickets this one. All the rides here are really not too crazily priced. Like, this is you know, four tickets, it's gonna run you like about, I don't know, $5 or so. So, it's not too bad. Green human thing. And I play this ride probably would have cost like $10. All right, we are on board the train ride. Getting ready to go. You see the Tilt World right here in the background. Here we go. Very little leg room in here, guys. Very little leg room. I'm six foot two, so my legs are pretty much sticking out of the car. So, yep, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys on this adventure. Little frog hopper, mini drop tower, and then there's even another drop tower behind that. Crazy. Check out that chair swing ride too. And way over there in the background, you guys can see the park's water attraction. The sprinklers. It's the only water thing there is to do here. There's literally no water ride. Passing the pizza place. Little balloon ride. Here's the other drop tower in the background. You guys can see crossbow. We're gonna have to get back on that in a little while. Then over here, it looks like some type of old tracked car ride. Like it has a sign and everything and uh, track, but there's no cars on the track. You guys know what I'm talking about. It looks like like an anti car type of ride, but apparently it's all not operational. <laughs> Bob guy right over here. Let's do the bumper cars later. I'm not sure how much more time we're going to spend here. Probably another hour or so. I don't want to spend the entire day here. There's not, there's not really a ton here to do. But it's definitely a beautiful park. Very picturesque. I really love the scenery here. There's the box truck all alone in the back of the parking lot. Look at this. It has a little train bridge. This is really cute. It's right. like dry up. Really cool. I love all these giant animals. Big rhino. Just past the elephant back there. It's a dolphin. And then there's a turtle and a gorilla in the background. It's almost like a safari, a great adventure. <laughs> Except they're not real animals. It's a really cool little train ride. Passing by the turtle. Look at that giraffe. That giraffe. The giraffe is tied to the tree. He's got like something around his neck tying him to the tree so he doesn't fall over. And he's definitely seen better days. You can see he's got moss all over him. Somebody should probably bring him off. This lion over here ready to attack us. <laughs> Horsey with a hat on, got family of bears. Guy riding a horse. Is that a polar bear? Oh my gosh. Horses, we're missing the zebras. Oh my god. What the hell? What are all, why are there heads? What, what happened to their heads? I don't know why there's just animal heads right there. Teepees. We're coming pretty close right now to crossbow. Like I said in the beginning of the video, crossbow is like really the park's main attraction. Although some would say that. Why did that crossing gate stop prematurely? Some would say that um, the Total World over there is one of the better rides too. That's what I've heard. The ride operator over there said that it's one of the most popular rides here. The Music Express looks pretty awesome. I don't know if I'm going to ride more uh, crazy spinning rides. I mean, Music Express isn't really that crazy, but I don't know. Might have to do this pirate ship though. It's like a lot of fun. It's like we're going up over another bridge. This one has a little bit more water underneath it. Then I think back here is probably like the main parking lot. Passing by the pirate ship. Same curl up. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> and I think that in the back over there, there's like ride parts. It's hard to tell. There's like different pieces of different colorful parts on the ground. I'm pretty sure those are your ride, ride parts. 
the background on the other side of the tail twirl. And the bathrooms we were just in for. And I think that's it. That's the train ride. Pretty cool. Not overly long. Definitely really fun. I think it's four tickets. Not terrible. Alright, yeah, that was fun. I like this fountain that they have right here in the entrance to the park. It's pretty nice. It had a little bit more water in it so you could cover up like the bricks. So it's pretty cool. Look at all that change in there. I think the park could like get out of financial trouble if they just like go to Coinstar with all that. No, I'm just kidding. That was a pretty bad joke. Hopefully nobody from the park's watching this. But we're gonna go right over here. We're gonna go to the ice cream place. Probably gonna get a nice cone. I'm in the mood for ice cream. I don't know why. Every time it's really hot outside, I always, always in the mood for ice cream. Swinging fire chips going over there in the background. Out toward the front of the park, they have this building here with a big arcade in it. You're gonna shoot me? Big buck world. Looks like they have a pretty good selection of games in here. Unfortunately, it's not air conditioned. It's actually extremely, extremely hot in here, and it has a kind of funny smell. Yeah, pretty cool in here. Pretty cool arcade. I thought it was bigger though. It looked like it was bigger. Uh, I think there's a downstairs. Ski ball, all the classics. I don't know if we can get out up from this side of the building. I think it just takes us back into the park. Uh, yep, yep, back into the park. All right, yeah, we have to go out the other way to get out. <laughs> Standing in front of that fan. Feels very nice. Like I said earlier, it's like 100 degrees out. So pretty much any opportunity to stay cool, we're doing it. What are you doing? <laughs> it looks like someone was really trying to break through the fence over there on the other side. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's all like banged up and everything. It's like clearly totally damaged. I don't know what that's all about. Somebody might have been trying to break into the park overnight. I do not know. Anyway, my buddy Dave's over there walking back toward the box truck. And then I think we're gonna head over to the Exxon right there and we're gonna we're gonna go inside the shop and get like ice cream and stuff because I don't know, I mean, I don't feel like paying three fifty for an ice cream cone when I can just get like a regular ice cream bar for like a dollar over here. So we're gonna do that. I mean, I was gonna buy the ice cream cone at the park, but um, my buddy Dave was like, nah, we're, we're just gonna go to Exxon anyway. So I figured I'd just join him. That does not mean the day is over though. We're still gonna come back into the park though, and uh, I'm probably gonna ride uh, crossbow again. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Also, I wanna get on the paratroopers. They look really good. What is he doing? I got a choco taco. Like it's melting really fast though, so I have to finish eating it. Like as soon as I pull it out of the wrapper, it just started melting. Oh my god! I gotta unlock it, right? All right, choco taco was delicious. We left my buddy Dave in the in the work truck. He's kind of just chilling. But I stopped over here by the railroad tracks to see all the animals and stuff. So you guys have like those weird heads, right? And then like before you get to the heads, you have all these other crazy animals. It was like a zebra and everything. You guys saw it earlier. But um, anyway, yeah, like this place is right on top of like other people's property. Like there's a house over there. Like I feel like they might own the property though because like there's a gate and it's open. So I don't know if they can just come in and out whenever they want. But we're heading back up here. We're gonna check out Crossbow again. Hopefully get a better ride on it. I'm gonna ride in the back this time. Let's see if there's any like difference. There's probably nothing. Let's see if the ride operator is sitting in one of the seats on the train. <laughs> Let's get on. These things are hard to push down. Yeah. Did a good workout. Jeez. Thanks. <laughs> Got those weird safety gates on it. Over the top, here we go. There's nobody else on the screen except me. Oh. Really intense. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> it's pretty fun. <laughs> I do enjoy those really low to the ground helixes. I think that's a ton of fun. And uh, obviously, the second train is right here on the transit track. Not to need. All tarped over. I don't know if that uh, ever gets used, really. That was back row. It felt really intense. Like, I don't know if there's necessarily any difference between the back and the front, like, intensity-wise. I feel like it was a little bit more intense for the back. I don't know. We're right in the front again. It's not a bad coaster. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Probably the best part here. Oh, yeah, for sure. A little dragon coaster is fun, though, too. Oh. <laughs> I rode that earlier. <laughs> guy's like, oh... It feels so much sketchier toward the front. I don't know. There's a view of the park. It's really cool. The highway right there. Oh gosh, why did it jerk right there? I don't know, the track is pretty jerky. Oh god. Oh! Great out right there. Oh! Almost our time. Alright. Oh. Yeah, you know what? It's pretty fun. I like this ride. I like it a lot. Here comes another family. Or another family. I'm by myself. And here comes a family. I guess they're gonna ride. <laughs> All right. I mean, once you had like a microphone, you'd be like, "Welcome back, riders." Yeah. <laughs> I think there's more people coming. Yep. Oh yeah. All right, let's go to the front. Bye. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Probably about 50 feet tall or so. I'm not 100%. I think I mentioned that earlier. I haven't looked at any of the stats on this. It's a pretty fun little ride though. Definitely really fun. No airtime, of course, but uh, I don't expect anything like that on a coaster like this. Mostly just helixes. There's some going off. Right at the bottom of that first helix is really intense. Especially sitting toward the front because you get like pushed down into it with the back of the train. Same thing right there. Right there. There's a whole bunch of intense helixes. And then you almost get airtime right there, but you don't. And then it's into the brakes. It's a short ride overall, but it's definitely a lot of fun. And uh, it's a family coaster, obviously. And uh, definitely worth your time to come over and check this out. Uh, I actually don't know how many credits it is to ride. Uh, is there a sign somewhere over here, possibly? I don't know where to look for that. See the chain is kind of like floating right there. I just have a question. What? I just have a question. Yeah. What, uh, how many tickets does it cost to ride this? Five. Five? Oh, okay. That's not too bad. There's no sign out here saying, so. <laughs> See the other, uh, second train over there? Just hanging out. If the park really wanted to, they might be able to sell that train to some other park. I don't know if there's any other, uh, coaster track that's compatible with those trains. Because this is, uh, I think, one of two. Like, there's only one other model of this coaster ever by, uh, by that company, Zerir. So we're going to walk back down into the park, and we might check out a couple more flat rides, and then we're going to head out. It's been a pretty fun day here, though, overall. I really like this park. Boatcraft. 
All right, that was really cool. <laughs> when I went to go talk to the operator to ask him how many tickets it cost, I accidentally left my wallet and my uh, like my phone charger and everything down on the table that was next to the vending machines over there. And like I just didn't realize that I left them there. And I got back and I was like, oh my god, my wallet. Like, <laughs> if I was at any other theme park, like if this was Six Flags, somebody definitely would have grabbed my wallet. Because there's cash in there and people would definitely want to go for that. <laughs> I'm saying it like I don't have any cash. Uh, there's cash in there. But uh, yeah, right now I think we're going to head over and do the uh, swinging pirate ship ride. It looks like it swings like way higher than the one at Great Adventure, so I don't know if I'm going to sit toward the back. I think I might just grab a middle row seat, you know, just in case, because the uh, rides here are cranked up a notch for sure. That tilt whirl this morning was nuts. I think it's stopping right now. <laughs> like hitting the middle, he's like, tired. All right, then. This looks like a really fun pirate ship though. I don't know how good the same pro pirate ships are because I don't think I've ever ridden one. Galeon, that's what it's called. I don't know what that is a reference to at all, but it's a uh, standard pirate ship right here. All right, here we go. <laughs> We're right sort of in the middle. These kids are pushy. <laughs> I already feel it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh god. Here we go. <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, good thing I didn't sit any worse at the back. Oh god. Feeling a little nice. <laughs> Definitely not as stomach crunching as the total world over there. That thing is crazy. Oh, my I really hope this place doesn't shut down anytime soon. It's a lot of fun. Definitely a fun little park for the kids. Definitely on the smaller side for sure. Definitely worth the $30 for a wristband. So I'm having a ton of fun today. <laughs> the guy's having a sex it, but the boat was like still swinging. That was a little weird. I'm gonna grab all my stuff right now and then. Uh, I don't know. Let's ride one more thing. I don't know what to ride though. My stomach feels a little queasy after that. I might take a little bit of rest. Oof. Yeah, that was a little nauseating for sure. My stomach is just a little queasy. I mean, I'm not sick yet. Yet. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully I'll feel better in a little bit. I want to ride more here, but I feel like I've gotten my money's worth really. Like, you know, between Crossbow and like the other coaster, and all the other rides here, like I feel like I've had a really fulfilled day like I feel like I'm having a lot of fun all right right now I'm gonna hit the bathrooms right the right over here though As you see over here, there's a uh, food place that doesn't seem to be operational anymore. The prices aren't terribly bad either. You guys could see French fries at the time were only $2.25. This place goes. New York pretzels, $2.25. $2.95 for a cheeseburger. That's, these prices are pretty damn good. I mean, I would pay for all this right here if it was still open today. <laughs> you got a uh, chicken sandwich. Yeah, a lot of interesting items right there on that menu. I would totally eat here if it was open. You can see a cash register in the window there. It looks terribly old. 
There's a couple rides that we're not going to be able to get on today that I wanted to. This chair swing over here is one of them. And the other one is right over there, the paratroopers. As much as I do when I ride these rides, I don't feel like my stomach can handle it. And technically, I'm still at work. So I need to get back to work uh, with a decent stomach intact. There's crossbow. Such a fun ride, that. It really is fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, we're gonna head up the exit. I think that's over here. Yep. All right, it's been fun. Bowcraft Amusement Park. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I know this park is on the smaller side, but I like to visit these parks sometimes just to get them out there more to people. Because a lot of people probably didn't even know this place existed, and it really isn't very far from where I live. It's only about a 45 minute drive from my house, so I could come back here if I wanted to. I probably won't in the near future unless they add any new attractions. But this park's pretty cool. Uh, overall, I had a pretty fun day. $30 for a wristband. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like or a comment. Or a dislike if you didn't like it, that's fine too. And uh, that's it. Peace out.